Yo, play Gooba. Yo, 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 Reju. Why I play Gooba? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, Reju. Come, come, come take these chains off. These shit's heavy as fuck. Right here. Come take this off real quick. I'm going to get back to this. Hold on. Let me take all this jewelry off. I don't, I don't give my old jewelry back to get new jewelry. This is a half a million dollars. Half a million. Look at the diamonds in them teeth. And nobody got this watch. Well, I think like two people got it. But if you don't got this watch, we can't beef. Me and you are not in the same bracket. At all. If you don't got this watch right here, this watch right here. This watch. Over a half a million. Why? We can't beef. I broke the YouTube. I'm at 5 million views in one hour. Y'all can't even get 100,000 views. Listen, listen. We can't beef. There's no beef. I'm the king. Y'all know this. Listen. You know the legendary shit that I be talking about? You know why people so mad? Because they thought it was over for me. They counted me out. Oh, yo, you, yo, you ratted, it, it's over for you. Y'all could never. Y'all could never cooperate with the government and come back. Y'all could never do that. I'm a living legend at the age of 24 years old. You hear me? Look at, the, look at these 1.6 million. Shout out to Tory, shout out to Drake, shout out to Bad Bunny. Y'all niggas can never. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Look at this 1.6 million, 1.6 million. We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. King of wit. Why well, keep hearing King of New York, King of New York? Y'all not the kings of New York. Look at the numbers. Why he winning right now, yo? Yo, how y'all let that kid rap, right? How y'all let him rap and come home to beat? Still get more numbers than us. Break all the records. Why y'all let... Y'all can't stand it or something? Y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't... Listen, you live, your, you live your whole life, right? You live your whole life trying to be a real nigga. And, and, and this is me. This is real Danny shit. Fuck 6 9 right? This is some Daniel Hernandez shit. You live your whole life trying to be a real nigga, trying to be a stand-up tall, loyal guy. To try to shit on a kid like me, to be like, yo, fuck that, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat. To be like, yo, he ratted. To then a rat, a rat like me, to come home and still do more numbers than you, I would be mad too. I would be mad too. If a rat came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad too. I would. I, I promise you I would be mad. If a rat came home to, like... The way I came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad. I, you have every reason to be mad. Every reason. Because no matter how much dirt I throw on my name, no matter... And I've seen everything. Everybody want to be quiet now. For two years, y'all made fun of me. Y'all done made memes of me. Y'all done threw my name in the dirt. Yo, rat, bitch, fucking... Y'all didn't go with through what I went through. And I still came home and I'm a legend at the age of 24 years old. Because I came home and a rat is doing more numbers than you. I would be mad too. I would. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. A real nigga wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I would go home sleeping like, why is this kid doing better than me? I wouldn't be able to sleep. I don't blame you, nigga. I don't blame you. I would be mad too. I would be mad. If, if a nigga ratted and I spent my whole life trying to be a real nigga, I'd be mad too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I, I'm genuinely sorry. And for all, and, and another thing I want to address. For the King of New York shit, let's cut that out. Little boy, sit down. If you don't got this watch, I'm not beefing with anybody from New York if you don't got this watch. If you don't got this watch right here, you a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. Sit down. King's home. It's over. It's over. Y'all got... And I get it. If you got one Richard Millie, nigga, this is all mine. Nigga, no, I'm fronting. I'm fucking... Get whatever y'all rappers do, nigga, it's mine, nigga. All four cars, Lambo, uh, uh, Lamborghini Aventador, Rafe, McLaren, G-Wagon. You name it, nigga. All mine. All bought out. Y'all can't fuck with me. Y'all can't compete with me. And I'm going to let y'all niggas know that. But I'm sorry. And, and now let me break it down. I'm sorry. I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? It wasn't worth it. It wasn't. And I'm going to tell you what. If there is a street code, right? If there is a street code and there's something so... So called is loyalty and everything and no snitching and all of that. I get it, right? But where was the loyalty when you was sleeping with my baby mother? Where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me? Where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother? Where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me? Where was that? So who broke it first? I right, I get it. Don't fight fire or fire. I'm sorry. 
But what did I do wrong? Be loyal to niggas that's fucking my baby moms? Be loyal to niggas that kidnap me? Beat the shit out of me on video and everything? I'm supposed to be loyal to that? No, you know what? You know what it is? Y'all don't want to accept the fact that those is all true facts. Y'all don't want to accept. Y'all understand why I snitch. Y'all understand. Y'all don't want to understand. It's not that y'all don't understand. Y'all don't want to understand. Y'all don't want to understand that. Damn, this kid really was a, a he. He moved their families out of poverty. He he paid for school for 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 all of the members, whatever. But he snitched on them. Why? Were they loyal to me? Cause I when when I met when I met son, he was sleeping on the rug. I I, I give him money. Yo, look, listen. I'm a rainbow Mexican here kid. I rap. I'm not about that gang shit. But listen, I know how to get us out. You wasn't loyal to me, whether whether. But y'all understand. Let's let let's just, y'all understand. And I know you understand. Y'all don't want to understand. All right. Let me tell you. Before I got locked up, right? Before I got locked up. Fuck that rainbow hair nigga. Fuck, fuck Takashi Snow. Fuck him. Fuck that rainbow hair kid. Fuck him. Fuck that rainbow hair kid. Y'all didn't really have a reason to dislike me just because I screamed in raps and I got rainbow hair. That was y'all reason, right? Or he's mad, loud. That was y'all reason. But then now y'all got a reason. So, of course, the go-to is, oh, he snitched. He's a rat. He's a rat. So that's y'all go-to, which I understand and I don't blame y'all. I can't blame y'all. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fans because they don't deserve it. My, my, my family, my mother, my family don't deserve that. And I'm sorry. But y'all not going to break me down like if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched. I ratted. But who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me... Out here in the free world, and you fucking my baby mom, and while I'm out on tour making money for all of us, you back at home sleep with my baby mom, then I get kidnapped, then you try to kill me? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, what makes you think if I would have held it down, you wouldn't violate me in the prison? Stab me up, poke me up in my neck. What? I'm not going to lose my life over of a, of a no hater, over no, yo, you did the wrong, th- nah, y'all understand it, y'all don't want to understand it, y'all don't want to understand it. But anyway, look, I'm going to put it like this, right? I love you guys. Thank you for helping me come back as strong as possible. I want to shout out um, my lawyer, Lance Lazaro. I want to shout out Michael Longia, um, Jacob Warren. Uh, I want to say thank you to, you know, the, the, the judge for, you know, allowing me to come home to my family, to let me uh, celebrate a birthday out here with my family, you know, and I appreciate that. As much as you guys want to pay me out to be a... I appreciate every little thing and I didn't do nothing wrong. Yes, I didn't need all of that beef. I didn't need that. Look, at look, we... we everybody's saying here with 2 million viewers, right? I didn't need that. I'm the biggest artist in the fucking world. The numbers... Men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't. Look at your viewers. Look up. Just... Look up. Two million. Numbers don't lie. But listen, I, I want to get back on live. I want everybody on this live. I'm going to get, listen, the YouTube crash. I'm going to get back on live. We, we already cracked two million. I'm going to get back on live. Go watch Gooba right now. Go watch Gooba. Everybody go on YouTube and watch Gooba. G-O-O-B-A-6-9. Go ahead. I love you guys. Check it up and check it out. Alrighty then. Uh, listen, I know I'm late. I know I'm mad late. Okay, but if you guys follow me on Instagram and other platforms, even Twitch, I was keeping you guys updated. I even live stream this event. Now, 6 9 actually went live on Friday at 3 p.m. And he had a lot to say. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. And this is more of a reaction video than a news reporting video. Because people are saying, oh, Ak, what do you feel about how he kind of came back out? How do you feel about what literally was a virtual press conference? Now, he was going to do a lot with that Instagram live, okay? He was supposed to add me in. He was supposed to add Shade Room. There's a couple rappers that was even going to pop up. Trust me, people actually still do fuck with him. But pretty much it turned into a soliloquy, a solo press conference that pulled in 2 million people at once. Now, that's a hip-hop event. It's huge. But, of course, a lot of people were there to listen to what the pretty much rat had to say. Now, did he do a couple of things that I feel he had to do to kind of continue on with his career and also clear up why he did what he did. Now, 
This is what he pretty much said. Uh, he said, yo, listen, listen, I'm getting a lot of money. He pretty much made that very clear. He also said, I'm really successful when it comes to numbers. Look at the viewer count. Look at what my song is doing. I'm doing a lot when it comes to music. I don't give a fuck, okay? Now, when he came to talk about him telling on people, he basically justified it with the same justification that a lot of fans have used when he was on the stand or it was announced that he was going to tell, okay? Hey, they kidnapped your baby moms. Hey, they, or they kidnapped you. They fucked your baby moms, okay? They were going to kill your mama. They also robbed you, and then they were going to kill you, okay? With that being said, would you tell? Now, again, I think when discussing 6 9 Here's the, the main thing, and I gotta get this off top. Six Nine's career has always been fueled by being the underdog. It's been fueled by the people that don't like him as opposed to the people that do. His whole thing, even when he was doing the beefing on a street gangster level, is that to keep it real, he was agitating other people and then almost making it seem like they were the people fucking with him okay he was taking on beefs he was also talking tough he's good with propaganda he's also very good at kind of laying down some things that are, are facts and putting a story around it okay again for a lot of people when you hear kidnapped fuck your baby moms what's gonna kill you what's gonna kill your mama Robbed you? Yes, you'll tell. But then for some others, they say, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That's not as simple as the story gets. Some people say, well, why didn't you handle that situation like how you handle other situations when you had problems with people who may have wanted to do something to you or your loved ones? Why didn't you put a hit on their head? Why didn't you just keep it in the streets? Why did you have to cooperate with the police? Anyway, you know, I think that comes down to where your morals lie. Or to be honest, I do. I just think it just comes down to if you're a fan, do you even give a fuck about the other shit or you just care about, like, honestly, entertainment and trolling? Let's be very honest. Because you, the meat mills of, these wor of this world and other people will, will try to act like many people beyond just their following care about that shit, but the majority of fans, they don't, okay? Let's be very honest. I think a lot of people watch that 6 9 shit, and before he even got out, people were saying, yo, just release that nigga that the gram could get lit, okay? He's back out. Yes, he might have that black cloud over his head of him being a rat, but to be honest, I think people just want to be entertained. People want to be entertained, and he is here for the entertainment. Now, does it make you look at him a certain way because he told on people? Yeah, but I don't think that'll stop his career because exactly what I've been saying for the longest, that kid that's supporting him, they've always been on that wild safari ride in hip-hop, okay? They love the street shit, but to be honest, they would never play by the street codes because those codes don't apply to them. They're not gangsters. And that's the thing. The audience doesn't match the content. Remember, hip-hop ain't like the movies. Hip-hop is about selling a lifestyle. So when you're selling a lifestyle to kids that don't live that lifestyle, you can't be mad at the kids if they don't oust whatever rappers for it, it, when it gets exposed that that rapper ain't where they are. They're buying into entertainment, okay? And these days, trolling is a form of that agitation entertainment. So again, I watched it, and I thought it was a pretty good live on his part. He convinced who he needed to convince, which means his fan base. He gave them something to rally to and ride to. Yo, this is why I did what I did. It came out of his own mouth. They kidnapped me, fucked my baby moms, tried to kill my moms. They robbed me, and it was why to kill me. Gave his fans and the people that don't care about that all the ammo they need to ride for him. And also, it agitated everybody else who said, what the fuck? This goes against everything I've stood for. And I have to speak about it. It then made 6 9 once again the underdog because everybody else is going to speak out against him. Again, for whatever reason, that me versus the world mentality, it works for 6 9 And to be honest, the press conference set it up just well, okay? So again, we're going to have these feelings about whatever 6 9 does because, you know, people might feel like, yo, he's going out a dangerous path or, yo, yo, listen, what he did is fucked up in terms of telling. But here's the only remedy. If anybody wants the remedy to stop 6 9 this is the only remedy. Well, two, obviously, right? Well, one could be death, right? <laughs> or jail cell, right? Um, the other is literally ignoring him. 
What I'm realizing is that he's great at keeping the conversation about himself, whether he got other people reacting to him, whether he's laughing at other people that forced them to react, whether he got people ranting against him. For some reason, he just harnessed all of that. And here's the thing. Here's a big difference because I hear people saying, yo, we were tuned in for, for, for the bullshit, not the music. Remember when 6 9 was free last time? He was one of the few rappers that actually harnessed the power of attention and filtered it to music. Remember, Soldier Boy did pretty much almost a 6 9 trolling shit. Nobody listened to a song of his. 6 9 always included all the trolling shit, all the beef and shit, and had the music as the soundtrack. And you pretty much to have the full experience of watching this like potential train wreck in progress, you had to go listen to the music too. Now, when you get the music lit and the music is doing 100 million plays on YouTube in like less than three days, yes, you then realize that, to be honest, it's a method to a madness. It's controversy, but also making a controversy always go back to the music. He's only going to be going live when he's dropping a music video that day. Uh, and not, not saying he's only going to be doing that, but like, think about what he did. Went live, dropped the music video, new song. Okay? Again, the only thing that I feel like people could do to kill the 6 9 buzz is to literally ignore him. But I think with him as a marketing genius, I don't think his ways of trolling, agitation, saying stuff that people gravitate to, and also even propaganda will ever allow people to just to say, yo, a tree falls in the woods, it doesn't make a sound, didn't even happen. I don't think people will ever be able to ignore him. OK, and hate or love, he's going to use that and try to finesse and harness that in power in terms of musical success. Get a guy, my guys, like them, subscribe. What you guys think about a whole live? I got a whole live up here for you. I'm sorry I'm a little late with it. I was on Twitch doing a bunch of other stuff. By the way, I'm always on Instagram. You guys got to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I want to know y'all opinion. Get a guy, my academics. Oh.